Hey everyone, we're back here with another helpful video for exercise at home. Ryan here, we got Becca, we got another special guest, Rachel. Uh, she's gonna be a model for this exercise. And this is all about heart rate. So this is a test um, on your cardiovascular capacity. So as you get better with this, hopefully your heart rate is gonna go down because you're able to do the activity with less exertion or you're more efficient. So speaking of heart rate, we're gonna practice taking our heart rate. Now if you have the Fitbit like Kathleen has here, it's real easy. You just look at the dial and it tells you exactly what your heart rate is. Um, I don't have one, Rachel doesn't have one, so we gotta actually test our heart rate. So what we recommend is you find your radial pulse, which is just on the inside aspect of your wrist, with two fingers, press down lightly, not too hard, so you include your pulse, and you're gonna feel a little bump, 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 or like a little just kind of pulsation underneath your fingertips. You're gonna count one beat every time you feel that, and we would like you to do that for the entire minute. So you look at the second hand on a clock as it's going around, when it goes from the 12 all the way around to the 12 again, you're going to uh, count your beats, and it should be fall somewhere within you know, 60 to 80 beats per minute. So we get that baseline, you know, you say you get 72 beats in that minute, you know what your baseline is without any exertion. And then we're gonna take it again after this test. So the test is gonna be for two minutes long. So does anybody have a timer? We're gonna grab a timer for two minutes, and during that we're gonna perform some sort of heart rate, you know, uh, elevating activity. So one of us is gonna demonstrate a squat, squatting up and down from a chair. One of us is gonna demonstrate a step up, and I'm gonna demonstrate just high knees, just kind of marching my knees as high as I can, just to get my heart rate up. And we wanna see what the change is in two minutes, and that way we have a measuring stick. So if we got 72 beats, went from 72 to 80 in two minutes now, and then we do it again uh, three months from now as we're doing our exercise at home using these videos, all of a sudden it's 72 and it only goes up to 74. So we're much more efficient. Or our resting heart rate might even be less now. So let's try that. Um, we set that two minute timer. We all, we'll just pretend that we all took our heart rate. I got 72, what'd you get? 75. 75, what'd you get? 78. Well, you can tell us exactly what you got, right? You got 78? Now 84. 84, uh-oh, okay. I'm up and so now, we're, <laughs> so now we're gonna hit the timer. Three, two, one, go. And we're just gonna start right into that activity. Now we're gonna keep a normal pace. So whatever is a normal pace for you, it shouldn't be uh, super fast and intense. You just wanna keep moving and stay at that pace the whole time. Now normally we do this in clinic. We have a little uh, app or maybe the old school metronome where it gives you literally that tick tocking sound at a certain rate and you just move to that rate. We don't, we're not gonna do that here because that's a little too fancy, we just want to get a baseline, okay? Because it's going to be your scale. You're going to move according to you. So we don't have to extrapolate this across all different populations. It's just going to be your scale. So again, you got your heart rate, whatever that heart rate is, we're jacking it up now. And then once this two minute timer beeps, we're going to check that heart rate again. And it's definitely going to be up. It's going to be higher than what it was. Remember to breathe. Always think about moving well. You know, we never want to move poorly. So, you know, our core is tight. We're not slouched. We're standing up nice and tall. We're trying to breathe. It's going to keep us efficient with this movement. Now, this is a great test. It definitely gives us an idea of what we're doing with our fitness. So we're not just feeling like we're not making any progress. And we can see measurable improvement here. It's always good to measure, even within the workout. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm just doing high knees, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. How much time we got? Less than a minute probably. 20 right? seconds. Oh, 20, 20 seconds. seconds. All right, 20 seconds, keep that pace. Don't speed it up, just keep it same as it was. I'm knocking on heaven's door apparently. <laughs> All right, staying up tall, not breaking down. All right, There's our time. Right, yeah. Now we're all gonna put our hand on our radial pulse, so we're just gonna check our Fitbit. One minute, you see them, that second hand go around, and how many beats you got in that minute? I'm probably up to, you went down? So Fitbits are inaccurate. <laughs> yeah. 
So, so if you don't trust your Fitbit, go ahead and do it the old school way. Great job, guys. See you next time.